What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with your daily gaming hype report. Today is Friday, September 20th, 2019, and here are the top gaming headlines that you need to know about. Remember, if you like any of the stories that I bring to you today, please go to the articles directly and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. Story links can be found in the show description below, so let's get into it. Here are the top four stories that you need to know about. Story number one, Sony's next State of Play show airs September 24th. This story from Polygon.com by Samit Sakar. The story reads, the next episode of State of Play, Sony's semi-regular video series for PlayStation News, will air Tuesday, September 24th, the company announced Thursday. The show will begin at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, and will run for around 20 minutes, Sony said in a post on the PlayStation blog. Viewers will see new game reveals, new content from PlayStation's worldwide studios, and a host of other updates. Although they shouldn't hold out hope for any information on Sony's next generation plans. All right, Sony fans out there, get hyped up on this Friday because you have something to be excited about next week, Tuesday. Not only will you get episode three of Sony's State of Play, but you're also going to have the Last of Us Part 2 media event. So, so much Sony news is going down next week on Tuesday. I cannot wait. Of course, we know we'll probably get a whole lot of Last of Us Part 2 information, but what else will we see from Sony's State of Play? Let me know in the comment section below. What are you excited for? Medieval Remake? Are you excited for more Death Stranding news? Do you want to see some Predator gameplay? What other pieces of news do you want to see in Sony's Episode 3 State of Play? Story number 2. Apex Legends third season will bring a new character changes to ranked mode. This story from Kotaku.com by Ian Walker. The story reads, Respawn has officially revealed the next champion slated to join Apex Legends. Players can get their hands on Hacker Crypto, a brand new weapon, and a slew of Battle Pass goodies alongside extensive changes to the game's ranked mode when Season 3, called Meltdown, arrives October 1st. Today's stories from the Outlands cinematic isn't the first time Apex Legends players are hearing of the elusive upcoming character. Crypto's name and abilities were first revealed by data miners before he was teased in the Season 2 launch trailer. The tech-based legend made his in-game debut earlier this week by way of a brief easter egg in the new Sing Labs area of the map. The cinematic suggests that Crypto has arrived in Kings Canyon to save or possibly avenge a missing friend. Meltdown will also introduce a new energy weapon known as the Charge Rifle and an updated battle pass with new rewards. There will also be updates to Ranked Mode, which will include a soft reset that will reduce everyone's ranked position by 1.5 tiers, slight adjustments to scoring, and increase to the amount of ranked points it will cost to play in higher tier silver matches and above. Players can also expect rank indicating badges to return, as well as new cosmetic rewards like gun charms and dive trails that will also show off how high they've climbed in the rankings. And after deactivating the feature in the first season of Ranked Mode to avoid false positives, Respawn plans to implement harsher matchmaking penalties for abandoning teammates in the middle of a game in the next season. Alright Apex Legends champions out there, get hyped up on the official reveal of your new character Crypto and of course the details on the upcoming Season 3 called Meltdown which will arrive on October 1st right around the corner. I can't wait to jump back into Kings Canyon, try out the new character, feel out the new gun and of course get into ranked mode. I love the new improvements that they're adding to that and of course all those battle pass goodies are calling my new name. I need two Apex Predators to come out here and carry me so I can get as much Battle Pass goodies as I can and of course rank up in ranked mode. Story number three, Netflix Narcos becomes a video game this year. This story from IGN.com by Alicia Judge. The story reads, the Netflix crime drama based on Pablo Escobar's life, Narcos, is being adapted into a tactical turn-based strategy game. Narcos Rise of the Cartels is developed by Kuju and published by Curve Digital. 
It follows the events of the first season across two campaigns. Players either take the side of the Medellin cartel trying to grow their drug empire or the DEA trying to topple it. The game's turn-based strategy elements will operate slightly different to similar games like XCOM in that enemy units will move at the same time as player ones. Players can also take control of their units in first-person view when things start getting heated. Characters and locations from the show will make an appearance, including El Mexicano, Murphy, and Primo. Each will have their own class-specific roles and perks, and there'll be an option to upgrade skills. The game is slated for release in 2019 for PC and consoles. All right, everybody, are you interested in Narcos becoming a video game? Because I got to say, I'm actually hyped up after watching the announcement trailer, seeing the gameplay. I'm all about this. I love games like XCOM. And of course, I love the story of Pablo Escobar's life. So come on, give me Narcos Rise of the Cartel. And it's supposed to come out this year on PC and consoles. I am sold. I can't wait to check it out. And the option of playing both campaigns as either the Medellin Cartel or the DEA. Sounds like a ton of fun. Can't wait to see the little twist on gameplay elements as well as it differs from XCOM in that first person view of when things get heated. That sounds like a ton of fun and something to get hyped up on. And now for our final story of your Friday Hype Report story number four. New Terminator game announced for PC, PS4, Xbox One. This story from GameSpot.com by Jeremy Winslow. The story reads, after appearing in the Coalition's Gears 5, Terminator is back with its own game. From the studio that developed Heavy Fire Afghanistan and Rambo the video game comes Terminator Resistance, a first-person shooter headed to PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on November 15th in Australia and Europe and December 3rd in North America. Terminator Resistance features an original story based on filmmaker James Cameron's 1984 sci-fi action flick The Terminator and its sequel 1991's Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Resistance takes place nearly 30 years after Judgment Day and expands upon the future war Cameron hinted at in the films. You'll play as Jacob Rivers, a soldier in the Resistance Pacific Division who is targeted by Skynet and marked for termination. Resistance will feature brand new enemies to flesh out the Terminator universe as well as iconic villains like the T-800 endoskeleton. All right, I didn't think Friday could get hype enough, but gosh darn it, you're tugging on all my action movie heartstrings. A new Terminator video game, and it's a first-person shooter releasing this fall slash winter. I am pumped up right now. I can't wait to check this game out. And of course, we're going to get a little early preview since it will be releasing November 15th in Australia and Europe. So all my best friends around the globe can tell me if this is hot or or not because it's going to release December 3rd in North America. There's a trailer out right now. You can check it out. And you know what? It doesn't look that bad. And of course, it's always fun shooting up the Terminator or running away from the Terminator. So I'm sold on this. I'm talking Predator. I'm talking Terminator Rambo. They are tugging at all of my favorite action movie heartstrings. Give me Die Hard and you will have all of my money if you want it. But Terminator, a new video game coming out soon. I'm all about it. And with that, that will conclude this Friday, September 20th, 2019, Hype Report. It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, reminding you, if you liked any of the gaming headlines that I brought to you today, please go to the show description below. I've left you all the article links there. You can give them a click and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. You have now been caught up for your Friday, and it's time to celebrate the weekend. So go out there, play a bunch of video games, and enjoy. I'll see you back on Monday, gamers. Have a good one.